Let's go. Who's on my watch? Is this? You, what are you doing here? Did I not warn you never to step your feet in my compound? Why are you here? Did I not want you to provide my son? Where is my son? Look him. Get out of my house right now. I will not leave here without my son. If you do not live here right now, I swear to you, I am going to eat you up and feed your skin to vultures. Get out of here right now. No, where is my son? Where is my son? In Ajuma, Jiju. No, 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 What is it? And why are you banging the palace gate? What is it now? Am I not talking to you? I said what is it? Is that same Ozioma? The worst is that she can't say a word. Did you stop about anything? No, she was just hitting the palace gate. Who is that? Who is at the gate? It's Ozioma. Go and bring her here. How about one you to stop entering this palace? Not your palace, but my father's house. Sure. You would not stop me from coming here. You slapped a referred princess of this kingdom. Your hatred for my mother still continued, even after her death. You are a wicked man. Don't you dare! Insult my father! I will cut off your tongue. Who are you to speak to me in that manner? How dare you? Your mother was a concubine. Where is she? You parade yourself as a princess of this kingdom. And you challenge me. But not to worry. Just a little time. A little time is all I give to you and this man standing here. And we will know who the Ada of this palace is. Please, you Shut up if you will not refer to me as a princess. That is exactly what you must do. And you slapped me, father. A king does not slap his first daughter. The gods will judge you. Ghost! <laughs> Stop! Ozioma wants to Nobody touches me in this palace! Not one person! This is my father's house! Father, did you hear what Ozioma just called our late mother? Did you hear that, father? 
Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll handle her by myself. I will handle her myself. This is a girl I want to know to step her foot inside this compound. Inside this palace. Now look at what she has done. No problem. She has just dead me. And she must see the other side of me. Father, Ozuma is your daughter. And this palace also belongs to her. Even if I'm a child, doesn't change the fact that Ozuma is our sister. And she's suffering. Look at how she looks. Sarah, sometimes you talk out of words. Someone just called your late mother a concubine, and here you are defending her. You could talk out of her don't do that for statement. Or are you promoting what you said to her? You are a fool, man! You are a fool! You are supposed to be protecting our late mother's interest like this! Princess Uju, I say enough. Now I'll tie her back to her chambers. Father! I'll tie her back to her chambers. A human being. What is the problem? Why are you crying? The king slapped me. <clears throat> the king slapped you. You see yourself? Huh? I have warned you severally that you should not go to that palace. But you wouldn't listen. Huh? Why wouldn't they slap you? This is a man who rejected you and your mother. On top of that, he called the whole community and told them that he has nothing to do with your mother, nor yourself, his own blood. And you kept going there, looking for trouble. Why? Oh God, I won't stop going there. I won't stop, except he wants to kill me. If at this my age I cannot stand face to face with a man I call my father, then I am a fool. My father abandoned my mother and I since I was a child. Not for once. Not for once has he even asked about me or my welfare. He has never ever taken care of me. If not for you, I would have died. That would end. At this point, he has to know that he has a daughter who is the princess of Azara Kingdom. As for that man, I won't let him sleep. He won't know peace. He won't. My daughter. It's okay. I can understand. Hmm? I mean, you survived all these years without royalty. Huh? So, don't, don't worry. Clean your tears, huh? Let's go I can't stop crying. I can't have a father who is a king. And I am being treated this way. I am being treated this way. Look at me. Take a look at me, Uncle. Oh, I can't stop crying. Why would I be treated like a commoner? When I have a father like that, why? Useless boy, what are you doing in my compound? I thought I warned you not to come to this compound again. What are you looking for? Uncle, I'm, I'm looking for Zioma. I have a very important thing I want to tell her. Please, if you don't mind, sir, can you help me call her? Hi. <laughs> this man, you've got nerves. What impetus? 
No, 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 no. I should go and call my niece for you. For what? You, you're not even afraid. You, you know I don't like you. You just roam around the community doing nothing. You just look at your beers. Look at them. I'm sure there are lies in them. Yeah, I, I, I close my eyes now. By the time I open there, you are out of this place. If not, I will send you to your late parents. Stop calling my late parents. What did they do now? Idiot! Let me see your, your left leg in this compound again. Then you, you, you see what I'll do to you. Nonsense. Ah! I have no future. You keep on. You don't know that she's royalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have told you, stay away from that useless boy. He's a useless person. He has nothing doing. Eh? For somebody like you, you should know that you are royalty. So mingle with people that have at least small potential of becoming royalty. Uncle, Not a useless boy. Just look at his beard. Uncle, please. Please. Sometimes when you say this royalty, it gets to me. Take a look at me. No, look at what I am wearing. Mm -hmm. Do I look like royalty to you? If you go royalty in a Udefa, this kind of dress, have you seen any of them wearing it? No. This is the only boy that makes me feel like royalty. He is eh? the only person that makes me happy. So please, Uncle, just allow me. I need to see him. I need to talk to him. Yes, Uncle! Yeah! Uncle, I'll be You're happy. going! Hey! That useless boy is making you feel royalty for what? Hey, God! Hey! Hey! Just be sounding anyhow. Yeah. Every time this man gets pepper body, I pass the way use pepper bath. Just simple question. You see, she around. If she's not around, you tell me now. She now sounding like every time you insult this so much. Come, come, mm -hmm. I don't I don't have time for this Romeo and Juliet something. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay. Well, I see someone is missing me. That's why you've been talking to yourself all the way from that side to this place. Uh, what happened? I, I thought your uncle said... Oh yes, my uncle didn't want me to see you, but you know, no one can stop me from seeing you. Well, I had a bad day today, all the way from the palace and back home. But that's by the way, so tell me, where are you going from here? I see someone smiling. Well, I was coming from your house, I, I wanted to see you, but, but the way your uncle was just sounding... Is that, why you're, is that why you're looking like a baby? I'm always your baby now. <laughs> Okay, so let's go together. But first, catch me if you can. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, my uncle to come and catch you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if he comes here now, I'll just leave that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go. I told you to leave that man alone. You have never dressed as a princess. Have you died? No, does sleeping and waking up in the palace, has it changed anything? <laughs> eh? What matters is you and me. You and me, my love. Yes, there is you and me. But that does not stop me from hating that man. I hate that man with so much passion. But the one I will not tolerate is Uju. You see that girl? Hi! If you see the slap I planned for her today, if I had given her that slap, if Siren should be hearing, her palms, she would die. It was just because of the king I left her. It's not just the king, it's, it's your father, so you, you address him as your father. If it was not you now, say you don't have sense. What kind of nonsense talk is that one? Why would I address him as my father? How can I address that wicked man as my father? For what? A man that has not given me a penny or has even done anything in my life, you said I should address him as my father. Someone that chased my mother out of his house. Just because he had small quarrel, very minor quarrel with his own mother and they exchanged words. He drove her out with me when I was still seven. And hasn't done anything for me. You're you asking me to address him as my father. Biko, I don't, I don't want to get angry. It's just because you and my uncle have been taking care of me. That, that's why I'm, I'm still here. Boy, you have to be taking it easy. You're, you're raising your hand like you want to slap me. Oh, well, you know Is I will not slap you. Uh-uh. You know I will not slap you. <laughs> But the main thing is you and me. And you're still living, you're still glowing. Princess or without princess, you're still mine and still glowing. Thank, thank you. You have been. What word do I use now? Awesome. Thank you very much for everything you have done. You don't have to thank me. Well, I have to thank you. I have to thank you. I said I have to thank you. I have to. <laughs> Ah, why are you slapping me? We can love please that one.
Good afternoon, Chief. You're calling me Chief. Mba, don't call me Chief. Refer to me as Mr. Enugu. Yes, sir. The king wants to see you immediately. King. Which of the kings? King Obadiah. King Obadiah. Are you asking me questions? Go and ask your father that question. Who are you to ask me questions? With due respect, sir. King Ikemba demands your presence and is urgent. Ikemba? Yes, sir. Okay. Go and tell him that I will come at my own time. Yes, sir. How dare you give me orders? Who are you to give me orders? Who are you to give orders to Pogropo, the king of the forest? Now get out from here. Go and tell the king what I've said. I will come at my own time. Get out! George. Giving me orders. What is the man I asked you to come back with? He said we should leave his compound, that he will come and see you later. But that wasn't what I said. I said you should make sure you come with him at once. Your Highness, he will disturb and ask us to leave his compound immediately. Yes, Your Highness. Mm -hmm. I see. You may go. The king sent for me. I hope nothing else transpired apart from what you told me. Nothing else transpired, uncle. And by the way, you think you are smart. No, you think you are smart. You left my house to go and meet that useless boy again. I warned you not to see that boy again. But you did it again. Uncle, Uncle, please, I'll appreciate it if you stop calling him useless. Kenna is not useless. You have to know him more. He's a very good person. He has helped me. Will you just shut up? Shut up! What is it? Eh? You want people to say that you got spoiled in my house or what? Eh? Now the king is there. Waiting to hear sad news so that uh, he can jump up and be happy that I've spoiled you. Look, stop seeing that boy. Stop seeing that useless boy. Uncle, Enugu? Uncle, Uncle, please. I don't want you to stop me from seeing him. 
Ikenna is a nice person. And he hasn't even done anything wrong to me. You just need to calm down and get to know him more. I, I just need you to understand that he's the only friend I Understand, have. kill you! My friend, get out from here! Get out, let me think! Yes. Get out from here! You don't see any boy to follow. Is that that good for nothing boy that has nothing to do it? Look at his beers. He's smelling. I'm sure there are lies in those beers. That's the kind of person you, you, you follow. Forget it that you are royalty. Ikemba, you sent for me. Why did not you come with my class as a student? You took a load there off. You now are just working with your magic to gather as a classroom for you. I should come with your guards. That was the instruction. You should have instructed them to tie me. Drag me like a goat to your palace. Simply because you are the king of the whole world. I wonder why all of you are so insulted. Just look at the way you're talking to my father, the king. The same way I was in here and insulted my late mother. How dare you talk to me rudely in presence of your father? Didn't he tell you why they call me Okbo Okbo? The king of the forest. Mind your language when talking to me. Your father was my in-law. He married my sister, my late sister. You are lucky that Oziyama did not come here with me. She would have taught you a bitter lesson for opening that gutter you call your mouth to talk rubbish about me. Ikemba, I think you need to teach your daughter some manners. She's very rude. Caution her. So your mom proceeded a befitting description of your person as the king of the forest. So what are you doing now? There are constituencies in the forest. That's what you're supposed to be giving it. Now listen to me. She's smart. She's good. And uh, she's mature enough to say what she wants. To say her mind. I simply called her to ask you to tell your sister to start to stop coming here. Huh? She came here and constituted the needs of this entire palace. And if she does that next time, I will kill her. <laughs> you will kill her. Inkeba, I need to ask you a question. Are you saying that Ozioma is no longer your child? Your question is baseless. Hmm. Hence, I have told you my mind. I will ask you the question again. Are you saying that Ozioma is no longer from your lawyer? Father, we should watch what we see because of tomorrow. Sister Ozioma is our sister. And I don't like the way Sister would you talk to Uncle. I have said my own. Zara. I'm so ashamed of you. Were you not here when that idiot walked into this palace and insulted our mother by calling her a concubine? Were you not here, I ask? When I sent your sister away from this palace, I told your kinsman that she was no longer my wife. And I collected the bride price I paid. Why must her daughter constitute the kind of users 
It is Thomas and inconvenience to be. <laughs> Ikemba. I will still ask you the question again. Are you by any means saying that Ozioma Ikemba should remove Ikemba from her names and replace it with her maiden name, my family name? Is that what you're saying? I refuse to answer another question for you. Leave my presence. I will leave. But teach your daughter some matters. She's Get very out of this palace she's now. Very rude. Get out. <laughs> You only need to see the way Princess Uju was talking to that old man and the king supported her. That girl is so full of herself just because her father is the king. Mm -hmm. The man should have been slapped to bend that amount. Exactly. We thought the death of her mother was going to make her calm down. But she's getting worse. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, she brought out all her own days that I should watch it for her. <laughs> and I was wondering why a grown-up woman like her cannot sit and wash common pant and bra. <laughs> the truth is that the king loves her so much. Mm -hmm. Those don't explain me how they love. I don't know that was your mom. But my father said that the king married her mother. Even when the king's mother said no. But then he insisted and married her. The king gave her sleepless nights. And they exchanged words. The king came back. Now drove the mother and child. Mm. And the king got married to that acquaintance's mother. See? From the way I see Ozioma, she's calm. Just yeah. that life out of the palace must have dealt with her. Mm. But she's surviving. My mm. dear, Zara is a good girl. She doesn't look for trouble. I like her. Don't forget. She's still a little child. She will change her. Okay. I had my name. What were people discussing with my name? Nothing, my princess. <laughs> Just the normal palace. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. Sister Oji wants to see you. Excuse me. Sashi. To a friend's place. You went to a friend's place? And you're just coming now? The, we, we went out and it was late when we got back, so I decided to pass the night at her house. You decided to pass the night at her place? You are wicked. Yes, you are wicked. You know very well that our children are not here. You are the only child we have here. And you have the mind to go and sleep outside. Just look at the compound. Everywhere is dirty. If you go inside, you will see that there are so many house chores that are yet to be attended to. And you went out and slept out. Can you see that you are a big liar? Instead of you to confess that you want to sleep with that bonfoon, that useless boy, you are here speaking bonkong. To a, a, an old gargoyle like me. And you think I'll believe you? Look at you. Your father rejected you. Now, instead of you to think, settle down, and see how you can make your life useful, you are frolicking with that useless boy, that Ewu Lokoja. And you are here lying to me. You are wicked. Um. Uh, Uncle, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I didn't intend to sleep out. Please forgive me. Okay, let me go inside and get broom so that I can sweep everywhere and maybe take care of the chores that are inside the house. If you try it, 
If you touch anything in this house today, then I will show you who I am. Don't sweep the house. Don't do any house chores. Don't cook. Don't do anything. Let me know that you don't have a child. Yes, because you know our children are not here. Don't sweep anything. Don't cook. Don't do anything. My wife and I will do everything. Okay. Now get her from here. Get her. Let me just get going. Yes. Yeah. I said. Just get out from here. You know very well that you, you are the only child we have here. You, you, you went out to, to sleep with that stupid boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Guard! Open the gates. You had the guts to open this gutter infested mouth of yours and insult my uncle. <laughs> well, I have come here. I have come here to beat the living daylight out of you and you will go in there. Tell your father who threatened to kill me that I am here in the palace. Let him do his worst. Ozioma, you have the gods to come into my father's palace and speak to me in such manner. Ah! Oh! Was that a slap? Was that a slap? You slapped me! You slapped me! Bring her back here! Bring her here! Bring her here! What is it? Why are you holding me? What is it? How dare you touch me? Search her out. Tie her and bundle her into the car. Quick. Yes, Your Highness. Right. Bundle who from the house? Mezen. He came back. What's your problem? You are asking us if we don't know what your sister's daughter came to the palace with you this morning. Didn't you hear it? If I know, why would I be asking? That's the way you address your first fruit. Your first fruit. Your first knowledge to fatherhood. I will not let any of these men come close to me. Else I will kill them. You allow the daughter of that concubine who made you throw my mother and I out of the house. You insulted me and everything from my maternal home. She said nothing. She kept quiet. I won't take it. I would not. In your presence, I would do worse. Because you have made my life miserable. I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. The gods, the gods will judge you. Take her doors. If anybody comes close to me, Kill that person. Don't even tell me. He came back. Why would you want to kill your own child? Mesa, keep off from this one. Keep off. This girl is causing havoc all over the kingdom. Your Majesty, we couldn't get hold of her. Then she is most wanted from now. You must catch her and bring her to the palace. Yes, Your Majesty. Meanwhile, let's go.
around for so many things. Guess what? What? The visa, right? The, the visa I've been looking for for, for a long time. It's, it's finally out. So I'll be going to Europe any moment from now. this for a very long time and now he's out ain't you supposed to be happy for me hey why are you crying is it good news my love you mean to be happy what, what is it My father thinks I'm useless. And now he would say I didn't prove him oh, wrong. No, stop saying that. Huh? You're not useless. <laughs> it's not a taboo to get pregnant. <laughs> that you're not a useless child. No one is going to kill you. Okay? Stop, baby. It's not a crime. <laughs> it's just that it's unfortunate this whole thing is happening <laughs> right now that I'm about to travel. <laughs> And I can't cancel the trip. I've secured the visa. Uh, you know how much we hustled for this. Baby, all we have to do is to stick to the plan. Okay? I, I, I borrowed 300,000 naira from a friend. And also part of the, the land, that, that land I sold. So, you take this 300,000, okay? It's not about the money. My love. It's I, not the money. I know. It's just for your safety, okay? I want you to take this money. Go to Judith, our friend in the city. Stay with her. I don't want anything to happen to you. Your father has already declared you wanted. I don't want you to be in this village, okay? Just go to her house in the city and stay there for now. I'm scared. Where do I tell my uncle I'm going? Baby, look at me. I'm with you. I can never forsake you. I just want you to stay there for some time while I go, hustle money, rent you a house, buy you a car for our baby. I just want you to stay there for some time. Okay? It's our baby. It's not a crime. It's not a crime that you're pregnant. Know that. Makes you a woman. I am the father of the child, and I'm telling you, we are in this together. Okay? Take, you're gonna need this money. You're going to need this money in Judy's plates. I'll just have to call her. How am I supposed to be alone? You are leaving. How am I supposed to be alone with this child? Oh! Judy, to stay with you. I'm equally done with you. Invading my house. What is it? Look, I don't want you people to come here again. Please, don't come here again. If you come here again, you, you will not be that lucky. I'm telling you the truth. Eh? Go, go, go and tell the king I said so. Please, sir, we are just doing what we were instructed to do, sir. You are doing what you were instructed to do. No, let me tell you. The last time I saw Zioma was when the king came here to chase her away. That was the last time I saw her. I come to think of it. It's only a tree that we hear that uh, they want to cut it and it will still remain there. 
Ozioma has gone to where I don't know. Eh? Go and tell the king that he should stop troubling himself. Sir, seriously, sir. We all are not happy about the war going on between a father and a daughter. It's bad. But the king has sworn to throw her into prison. So my advice for her now is for she to leave town for safety, at least for now. Exactly. What he said is true. The king was with the commissioner of police yesterday. And I overheard them talking about this same issues too. Hey. Well, you see, I'm happy that you all know that it's just a family issue. Eh? I don't understand. The king hates my niece so much. His own child. Eh? But, but there's nothing I can do about it. So please go, eh? Go. Don't come back again, no, so that I don't have personal issues with you. We prayed and fasted for this to happen, and now it finally did. You mean to be happy? Okay, you want me to go in and take my clothes off or, or tear my passport? No. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just scared how I'm going to be here alone. You're the only friend I have. The only brother I do not have. You've always had my back. Do that for me now. I know. I'm still here. Nothing has changed. I still have your back. All you have to do is to pray for me, for everything to work out fine, and I'll come back before you know it. Okay? And also promise me that you stay away from the palace. Hey, it's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. I I will give you 100 per one. I'm buying everything. Is that okay by you? Okay. Alright. Um, How many are they? Eight. Okay. Get me the money in the car. Where are you going? Flying princess. Feeling like a woman president. Look at this place. Does it look like your palace? No, it doesn't. So I'm here so that we can settle our scores. Do you think that you had the guts, the effrontery to challenge me? And your father has declared me wanted. So you see, 
I have nothing to lose. Because right here and now, I will beat the living daylight out of you and wait for the police to come. Let me see what you will do. Ozioma. Huh? Ozioma. 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 Ah, you should shut up. Shut up. You better call that name with respect before I give you back and slap. Now, Paula, you are daring me. I wasn't the one that asked my father to send your mother out of the palace. <laughs> So why are you keeping your anger on me? Because you are running your mouth. You are talking nonsense. You see today, I will show you what it is to be called as your man. All of you, you and my father, ganged up against me. Now we are here, just the two of us. I will beat you, see this rubbish you are wearing, and wait for whatever will happen. Hey, don't, 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 don't touch me! 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 God saved her. I would have dealt with her. I would have beaten her pink, blue, purple, orange, just name it! Who says? That reminds me. You, step forward. You stood before me and called that commoner. That idiot! A princess! Why, if I may ask? My princess, I'm sorry. It was as a result of how I- Will you shut up? This should be the first and the last time you will address anyone as a princess in this kingdom except me and Zara. Am I understood? Yes. Am I understood? Yes, my princess. Get out. Oh, you! of you addressing anyone apart from Zara and I as princess. Am I understood? Yes, 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 yes my princess. That's mm -hmm. better. <laughs> yes, my princess. Yes, my princess. <laughs> 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 Too much to be going through this. 
he sold all their landed properties just so he could leave the village and get a better life. But this is what he got. And people say life is fair. <laughs> life is cruel. Look at me. Julie, look at me. Where do I go? Who do I run to? My uncle? What do I tell him? Where do I start from? This is so unfair. At least God should have just had mercy on him. Just, just a little mercy. If not for anything, at least for this child I am carrying. How am I supposed to survive? This is so unfair. This is so, so unfair. So unfair. Which one are you taking? This. Look, this is not nice. This is better. I want this one. Okay. Hi, ladies. Hi. I'm sorry for the intrusion, really. My name is Tony, and it's my birthday today. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. And I'm in high spirits. Oh. You know, and I'm just thinking that, you know, um, you could pick whatever it is that you want. You know, it's on you. Yes. My name. We should do enjoy. that. Yes, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Just go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, you're you're heavy, so I like to think that um. Ah, you're welcome. Really, it's nothing. Um, please, I don't know if I can get your contact. Me? Yes, please. Look, I mean no harm. I just want to be your friend. I mean, we're already acquainted. So, I mean, let me call you one once in a while and check on you, please. Please. Okay, I have it. I definitely call you, okay? Alright. Alright, you're on our way now. Oh, oh, which one are you coming? Are you mobile? No, we want to use Kekke. What? You know what? I'll drop you off. It's nothing. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, but it won't be possible. I said I can't make it. I can't. Oh, God, I said I can't. Ah, bye. 
Who was that? The guy we met at the supermarket. Oh, Just... wow. The nice guy that paid for our shopping. Ah, what does he want? He's asking for dinner. And what did you say? What did I say? I said no, of course. What were you expecting? Oh my God, he's just asking for dinner. Nothing else. Uh-huh. So, why would you reject it? Why would I reject it? Okay. I rejected it because he might start asking for something else later. I mean, guys are unpredictable. For the main time, he's just asking for dinner, isn't it? Listen. The guy we saw at the supermarket does not strike me as a bad person. He made it clear that he only wanted to be friends. He never can tell him. He that sense. God knows our present condition. That just maybe he sent this guy to favor us. You're going for the dinner. And why doesn't he want to be friends with you? You're not pregnant. Why me? Why would you want to? I, that, that is the point. I do not think you want to do anything with a pregnant woman. That is why he should not be friends with me. He could be a god sent. Okay, good night. And it's not a matter of good night, you are going for the dinner. Huh? I said you are going for the dinner. Come on! Judith, we go. I know, that's why I brought you here. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You know what they say about pregnant women, they like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have grown fond of you. Yeah, I have. You seem to be the only one that I think of every day now. Honestly, Uzioma, you have occupied my mind. Listen, you won't believe this. I <laughs> don't laugh now. But the truth is, I dreamt of you last night. Yeah. Saw you in my dreams. It was beautiful. And I'm hoping we can make it a reality. What? <clears throat> what I am saying, in essence, is that I really like you. And I like to think that you like me, too. And uh, <clears throat> just give me a chance to love you. Like you deserve to be loved. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're joking, right? That must be some kind of joke. I am serious. I'm serious. I like you. I'm very serious. You know that is that is not even possible. Why not? Me. I am pregnant. And pregnancy is a beautiful thing. It's a blessing from God. Listen, I want us to be lovers, okay? I want to take care of you. I want to be with you through this entire process. Listen, I am five months gone already. You can't possibly have anything to do with me. Why? Because it's someone else's child. Where is he? Where is your engagement room? Where is he right now? He got you in this condition and disappeared. Unfortunately, though, he's dead. But sweetheart, you have your whole life ahead of you. And I want to be part of that life. Please, baby. Let me love you. I'd like for you to be my wife. Yes, yes. You can do this. Don't make me cry now if you cry. <laughs> Don't cry, it's okay. Are you seriously asking me to assent to this proposal? Yes. Because that is the best thing for you. <laughs> best thing for me. How? Oh, there, there, there she go again. 
Ikena, 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 Ikena. That is all you keep saying. The bastard has been sentenced to death already in Indonesia, right? So you plan on giving birth to a bastard. You want to raise a bastard alone. You don't like your life. And God now answered your prayer and gave you a competent man who volunteered to take away this shame and body off your shoulder. But what did you do? You said no. Okay? You don't like good things. Are you even thinking of, Are you even thinking at all? In that your preach about your life. Currently, we have no food in this house. And no hope for tomorrow. Do you plan on going back to the village? Maybe to stay with your uncle? Or your father who has already rejected you? Is that it? I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to raise a kidnapped child alone. I must not be married to another man to do so. Very well then. It has to be outside this house. I mean, in your own apartment. Because this house will no longer contain the both of us. Listen to me. I don't keep dumb people around me. You refuse to make use of your God-given brain, right? You love poverty. You love to suffer. That has to be outside this my house. Enolia, start making arrangements. And that is fast. Enolia, can I? There was no one in Ikena's compound. Yes. I, I, I tried to ask around. Someone told me that uh, he traveled out of this country some months ago. He did what? He traveled. Chelo? Wait. I hope Ozioma did not go with him. Yeah. How could she have such a mind? Ah, will you blame her? Eh? Her father, the king, wanted to kill her. So she had to run for her dear life. Eh? My only concern now is that she was supposed to have told us where <laughs> she was going so that at least we, we can check on her. Eh? But wait, oh. Ikena, that poor boy, Parabolating around this village without Shishi. He was able to travel to Budoibo. How did he raise the money? What kind of person is that? Hmm? But I don't know. Well, I pray God should help him and bless him too. I pray too. Children of nowadays, before you know it, they travel out of this country. Eh? And all of them want to travel at the same time. So who will be here with us? What are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? What am I not Why saying? Why won't they travel? This country is in a mess. Eh? Nigeria is confused. Mm -hmm. So if they want to run away, let them run away. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. This is our country. We must all remain here, live here and die here. You want ah. to die here? Yes, sir. What are you talking about? You leave this country. You will live and die there alone. Yes, sir. Me, I will not die here. We have to repair the country. Ah. If everybody runs away, so who, who will repair it? Have you gotten your own apartment? I'm talking to you! Have you found your apartment? Uh, what apartment? Oh, you actually took me for a joke when I asked you to start looking for your own place? 
You think I'm joking? Judith. Where do you want me to go? How do you want me to go? listen to me. I have really tried for you more than enough. But you successfully proven to be nothing but an epic failure. That is who you are. Yeah, because what girl in her rightful sense is want to throw away a golden opportunity like that? Do you know who that guy is? Do you know who Tony is? Do you know that man can actually buy you the whole world? What every girl is desperately looking for, you want to just throw it away like that? Are you out of your senses? Are you mad? Judith, I'm carrying another man's child. Please, I don't want to hear that rubbish, okay? I, I just want you to understand me. I'm carrying another man's child. How do you expect me to marry Tony? Please, I'm begging you. I, I have nowhere to go. I don't. Where would I even get money to get an apartment? Please, Judith. take care of myself in this pregnancy. If I had known that Ikena would die, I swear to God I wouldn't have supported him to travel. How can a mother and father lose the only seed just like that? <sighs> I really do not have a choice. But this child should. Like I said, um, I'm not the biological father, so you need to give me some time to go and discuss with him first. Uh, you know he's the king, so whatever we're going to do should be done in the palace. I agree. I agree. I mean, he, he should be lenient with matters like this. Uh, you know, no matter the rift between the both of them, I should not stop him from accepting um, his daughter's bride price from a suitor and also open up his palace you know to a grand traditional wedding i mean it's something to be happy about yes. that's that's what i think yes. let us talk about accepting the bride price first yes because huh, that man i've never seen his type uh, yes, I, no, 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 huh? I should tell uh, I was going to ask you, sir, uh, if it's okay that I come with you to the palace as you appeal to, to the king. Ah, sure, sure, you can. Uh, but uh, you know, these ones, they are mine. Uh, uh, <laughs> Carry on. For you to, you, I mean, you have to knock on my door too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Carry on. <Hey. laughs> Carry on. So thank you very much. Huh?
Where is your king? The king is inside the house. What are you doing in my palace? I ask you, what have you come to do in my palace? Is that question a welcoming statement or you are trying to embarrass me in the presence of a visitor here? Total embarrassment! Did I not warn you to stop coming to this place? Eh? I told you that I don't want to have anything to do with you or any member of your family. Hmm? The bond between us is broken. Why are you here? Your sister's daughter is still in my wanted list. She went ahead and almost fought my daughter along the road. Are you not aware of it? Are you not aware of it? Ikeba. Your negative attitude towards me each time I come to this palace is beginning to proceed. Yes. If I am your problem, then just let me know. Then I will go and never come back again. My sister, who was your wife, is late. And the only link between you and I is Susio. Now that you think that this one is enough for you, I mean it's good enough for you, then I will leave and never come back. How dare you? How dare you refer to the princess of this land as this one? How dare you? Listen to me, old man. You should know that I am not my father. So I won't take it from you if you use such words on me again. Jerry, are you by any means referring to me with those you Oh yes, I am. What will you do about it? Will you eat me up? Um, young lady. Please. Um, watch your language. He's an elder. Please. And who is this one? A commoner. How dare you open that thing? That goat are you call mouth and address the princess of this land. How dare you? You know what? Enough. We have had enough. Both of you leave the palace. Calm now! Calm down. Guards! Calm down! Hey, stop! Stop! You cannot go. Please go. See what I told you? See what I told you about that one? Anyway, you are from the neighborhood, right? Don't worry. Um, you can go and live with your wife. Huh? I will talk to my kinsman. Maybe with time, that man will come back to his senses. He will change his mind. Okay? I must say that you have been very helpful. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll drop you off at your place. It's fine.
Yep. Don't get married and be independent. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to be independent and leave this palace. Yes, so leave Princess Uju and not have trouble. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know something? <laughs> that wicked fool. <laughs> <laughs> that wicked fool, that thinks the father's palace is a heaven. This ha 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 ha! What is that? Why are you made is disturbing the peace of this palace? Mama just got a marriage proposal from her friend, and we're happy about it. It's my princess. And so, what's new about that? Is that why you want to bring down my father's palace? Listen and listen very good. This should be the first and the last time you will do such. The next time I hear such noise in this palace, you all will be fired. It is heartless. Why are you a sadist? You think life ends and starts with being a princess? Are you not a woman? Can't you rejoice with others so it comes to you? I didn't expect this from you. Chidima. I can see you have grown wings. You now talk back at the princess of this kingdom. Well, let's just say today I'm in a good mood. The next time you will try this, I don't need to tell you what will happen to you. May I propose you want to bring down my father's palace? What if you get married? What will happen? You will probably send me out of my father's kingdom. Useless maidens. Fools! Idiots! That's what you are. Are you still there? Are you still there?
love you. And I love you too. Be a good boy. And now you have to run along. You're late. Right. So I'll just drop him off at school and I'll be back home, okay, babe? Babe? What? I said I'll drop him off at school and I'll be back to you. Oh, um. Are you okay? Well, are you okay? Yes, um. Madam! 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 Anything? Oh, wait.
Let me confirm again. Just calm down. Whatever it is, take it easy. Yes, bro. Can you repeat that thing you said about again now? Huh? Yes. Wait, wait. So it's true then? Chicken are you talking about? Judith, answer me. Which chicken are you talking? I need to call the person Give me my what? phone. What? Not, you want to hear it? Sit down. Judith, I cannot sit down until you tell me what is going on. You just said you heard something bad about Chicken. What is it? Ozzy, I don't know how to begin to say it to you. Ozzy, can you relax? Okay. Please? Um, I'm sitting. What did you hear? Judith, you're crying. Judith, what did you hear? Because, you know, what did you hear? Okay. Okay, what? You have to be strong, okay? You have to be very strong. And you have to promise me. Okay, you're scaring me. What is it? I just, I just got a terrible news from a reliable source. That, that what? That he came now. Was arrested in the country he went a few weeks ago because of drug trafficking. And as a matter of fact, he has been sentenced to, 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 to death. No. That, that, that is a joke, right? I can, I just left a few weeks ago. Why? Um, Judith, I need you to call this person and let the person confirm to you that, that, that this is not true. Judith, call him! Please, just take your phone and call him. I beg you, call him! I'm sorry, it's true. One can't just joke with something like that. Hey!
מתחיל. היי, היי. היי, זה רק כמו לעצמי. עצמי, היו אוקיי? רלאקס, עצמי. רלאקס. You know what, why don't you change it to something really, really nice? I'm thinking we step off for a bit, you know, so I can take you shopping. No. Um, maybe not now. I'm, I'm tired. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling sick and sleepy. I just, um, I just need to sleep. <laughs> And we don't know how she has been faring. Yes, she got married. And father chased her uncle out of the palace. What I'm saying is very simple. Father should call her and tell her she's no longer on his wanted list. She ran out of this community and I'm not been back. Chisholm! How did you know all this? I have been visiting her uncle and his wife. As a married woman, Sister Zuma is supposed to be bringing food items for uncle because it's, their two children are not around. At least let her be coming back home. Please. Zara, Zara, Zara. Are you this jobless? You move around searching for people that doesn't care about you. Please, get a job. We can never be at par. We are from the same womb, but our chi is different. Ozuma remains the first daughter of this family. And no tradition can change that. Father knows I'm seeing the truth. <sighs> Enough of all this. Um, cheese, I have had you. because you've been thinking about him lately. You've been doing so, right? You don't want me to lie to you, do you? You know it's not easy to forget one's first love. Ozzy, listen to me. You have to forget everything about that guy. You'll be doing yourself a huge favor by doing that. To pray that love, this guy is dead and gone. And you're now a married woman. Why are you still thinking about him? Ozzy. You seriously do not want your husband to catch a, a grip of this, right? Listen, listen, can we meet up and talk about this tomorrow? Okay, um, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Fine. Bye. Hmm. What's that? Judith? Yeah, Hi. how is she? She's fine. She sends her regards. Ah, uh, my regards to her next speaker. It's been ages. What's happening with her? Is she good? Of course she is. Has Chidi gone to bed? Yeah, he's snoring. Oh, I'm hot. Mm -hmm. What? What do you mean, what? I hope you didn't sing him to bed again. Oh, yes, of course. I sang him to bed. It's my responsibility. Tony. Yes, baby. I have said this before and I'm going to say it again. You need to stop singing him to bed. You're just being jealous. It's not about me being jealous. That boy is not... Okay. He's not a child. He's I don't not. want it to become a habit. Please. Sweetheart. Stop. What do you have against that? Now, come on. You know how I love him. I don't have you anything. Know, uh, yeah, but he enjoys it. Okay. That's how he sleeps. But stop. When you give me a second child, baby, I might reconsider. But for now, he's my world. 
To get Ojima's contact? Uh, no, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. Uh, but not to worry. Eh? The husband will come very soon to see me. Okay. Once he comes, I'll collect the number and give it to you. Hmm? Um, you see, I have no phone. Hmm? But my daughter promised to buy me one. Eh? Even my wife wants to speak with Ojima. Okay, so Papa, when do I come back to get the contact? Because I really want to speak to my sister. Hey, don't worry. When the husband comes, eh, I will collect the number from him and give to you. Okay. Huh? Uh -huh. You are a very nice person, though. No? You are the only person who understands that the same blood flows in you and that of Ozioma. Eh? And not that your rude sister. Is that, that your sister? Eh? Anyway, eh, thank you very much for checking on Ozioma all the time. Okay? Okay, sir. I'll take my Yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry.
Girl, you sounded very apprehensive on the phone. What is the matter? I think I just saw a ghost. You know you can talk to me, right? What is it? So who? He came now. Did you see me came now? You know. Uh, I ran into him in a boutique a few minutes ago. But you know that's not possible, darling. I am definitely sure you were hallucinating or something. That is what I wanted to believe. But no, he was the one I saw. I'm. I'm you must sure. have seen someone that looks like him. You couldn't have seen him came now. You know that. So what is the problem right now? You know I warned you, but you didn't listen. I warned you about your obsession with that guy. I told you it was going to ruin you. Now look at the negative effect it's beginning to have on you. Did I warn you? <laughs> like, I don't understand. How can you still be mourning a guy after several years? Listen to yourself. Does that make sense to you? I am very, very disappointed, darling. How about uncle? There was never a time I stink. Anyway, it's me and I thank God for everything. Please, I, I want to see Ozioma. Ozioma? Yeah. Are you not aware that she's married? She's married though. Oh yes, uh, so I heard. So I heard. I just that I want you to help me with her contact. I don't know if you were listening to me. I just told you that she's married. 
So, what do you need her contact for? Of course, I know she's my uncle. She's my friend, and it's not a crime to call her friend, right? Eh, I know that it's not a crime, but I, I count it. Oh, oh, please. There is nothing wrong with having her. I just want to, it's been a while. Like, I'm back right now. I meant to, like, call, how are you, and stuff like that. Nothing. It's just, it's just to call a friend. Mba, Mba, Kena. I can still remember vividly how you pestered life out of her when she was not married. And you traveled. Now you are back. You want to continue from where you stopped. Mba, I will not agree. If that's what you... You just hold on. I will not be alive and watch you destroy her marriage. I will not. Ah! If that's what you're thinking. It's far from it. I just wanted to have Uzioma's contact and call her up as a friend. That's all. Please, kindly help me with the contact. It's okay. Let me tell you the truth. Hmm? I don't have a contact. And that is the truth. Yes, I don't. Oh, you don't want to give me? Okay, fine. Do you have anyone that has the contact? Uh, well, since you are insisting, you can go to the palace. You know the king is her father. Go and ask him if he has the contact. But let me warn you, she's married. Stay away from her, okay? Uncle, yes. we are not quarreling. I just uh, no, no, said... quarreling, but you're looking for contact for somebody who is married. I don't understand. You can go. Uh, you ah. can, you can. Please, please.
I did it. I know you were expecting me. Come on, it's me. Kinder. I see the ghost is me. We all thought that you were dead. Well, I got arrested and jailed for a couple of years, but you know, God came through for me. I just did a few years ago. Wow. That's a good news. Yeah. I text him on the run. So I need Osiomas contact if you don't mind. And don't tell me you don't have it because I know you both are best of friends. But why? What for? Why? I can't believe you just asked me that question. Of course you know who she is to me, yeah? Okay, now you know the news of your death sentence came as a rude shock to every one of us, especially to her, who couldn't take it. You know, she actually collapsed, was rushed to the hospital, spent weeks in the hospital. After a few weeks, she lost the baby. And I saw your fault. No woman could have survived the trauma. It was so heavy on her. You won't understand. You will not understand. This whole thing looks like a dream to me. I had plans with this girl. Promising plans. I have dreams. Missions that we both promised each other that we are going to accomplish together. If someone would tell me that after everything we passed through together, that she will see me and run away, I would never believe it. Chuka. I divided, not even divided. I gave her almost all the money I was meant to travel with to make sure that she took care of herself and the pregnancy. But Do you believe what that girl said? Hmm? What do you mean? She said Ozama saw the young man. Yeah. And up till now she has not made any effort to find him. Which means there's something she's scared of. If she lost the pregnancy the way her friend claims, then what could that be? What is she hiding? I I I don't think Judith will lie about something like that. You may come not pretty devil. I don't trust that girl. 
Her lips were shaking when she was talking. Again now, calm down until you see us ever. Okay? Relax. You had the miserable guts to knock at my door. You stupid fool. Sorry, my princess. It was a mistake. And that mistake will kill you there. Useless thing. Princess or whatever they call you, I have taken enough of your insults in this palace. I am the head guard and you should mind how you talk to us. We are not slaves. We have homes. How dare you? speak to the princess of this land in such manner how dare you and who made you the head guard in my father's palace you just spoke about slavery don't you know you are a slave you were bound to save me i will leave you and your father's palace since you raised your hands and slapped me my god will judge you i promise you my god will judge you come back here should school down and take ground in this palace. We have lost our mates and guards all because of attitude. She's my elder sister and anytime I try advising her, she ends up scolding me. You mean, would you slapped my head guard and he resigned? Yes, father. And all that's her threatening to resign. Even the maidens. Where is she now? I don't know. Go and search for her everywhere. Tell her to see me now.
Penelope, I think we'll have to cancel this meeting. Zema, these guys are trailing me. Ikenna and his cousin. I think they want to use me to trap you. It seems that it seems they didn't believe what I told them. Yes. No, don't worry, calm down. Don't panic. Leave it for me. I will handle it. Okay? I will make them believe me, okay? Bye. I don't want to know what happened. But since it's long way for me to come back, would you lay your hands on my head guard? You must go and look for him. I apologize to him and bring him back to the palace now. Otherwise, you will see the other side of me. But father! Shut up! And do what I ask you to do. I actually have your sister's number now, <laughs> but you know I don't have a phone yet, so that's why I've not been able to send it across. Huh? It's my fault. I should have collected it since, or at least not any of the palace maidens. Hey, Papa, yeah. I've been having a series of nightmares about Sister Zioma. Nightmares? Yes, Papa. Could it be because of this boy that came back? Which boy, Papa? Never mind. Eh? Eh, I will go in now to give you the number. You know I can't carry it off hand. Eh? Uh -huh. So try and call her. Even my daughter Odoka will talk to her also. Okay. Eh? So just wait for me. Let me go and bring the number. Yeah. Few months after hearing about us. Oh, we are there dating when we are together. I just can't place my hands on this. I loved her. I trusted her. And I felt that feeling was mutual. You can't believe that the thought of holding her in my arms once again after all these years was what kept me going. I was devastated to hear Uncle say she got married five months, just five months after my departure, Chuka. Was that how little I was meant to her? That is why I have trust issues with women. Jesus Christ. Women love already made men. You hardly see any of them that will stay with you when the going is tough. Sophistication is the bane of today's women. And number one reason why many of them find it difficult is to stay with one man. 
I'm not surprised. She found a wealthy man and forgot about you. But you see this issue of your child. We must get to the bottom of this. We must get there. Hmm? you think we're following you? Huh? You are following me. You've been following me and you knew it. Do not try to deny it. He asked a very simple question. Why do you think we've been following you? Exactly what I'm asking. I've already told you everything you need to know. Why are you still then following me about? Because what is this? Because you've been suspicious. Your attitude do not track with what you told us. You okay. definitely know something, Judith. And what makes you think I'll be hiding something from you? Then it's very simple. Give me her phone number or home address. I am sorry. I cannot do that. Simply because I have regard for people's privacy. I've warned you. And I will not warn you again. The next time you follow me again, I would report you to the police. Do not say I didn't warn you. Wait, wait. Judy, are you, are you actually warning me? Judy. Judy. On no account should you allow anyone to look down on your manhood. 
when next she raises her hand against you, or against one of the guards, beat her up. So she will know her limit. That does not mean that. You should not accord her respect as my daughter. Or throw away her respect to the cleaners. Did you hear me? Has she apologized? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Go back to the duty post. Thank you, Your Majesty.
Chuk, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You should have allowed me to handle this. Now, calm down. Calm down. Yeah? How will you do it? Kill them? Take the child away? No, no. But they have my son. Are you expecting me to keep quiet? No one is disputing that. They won't deny it. They won't deny it. The boy even have your look. But this is not the right way. Let's follow due process. 
So what's the due process? Take them to court? No, 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 no. Far from that. Far from that. Relax, bro. So come, relax, relax, relax. If I name maybe. <laughs> he don't see. That guy must have got some nerves to storm into your compound to create such scene. <laughs> Wait a minute. How are they did even find your place? I, I still don't understand. The funny thing is that I know nobody followed me while I was driving home. Only for me to get into the compound and he came in behind me. I can't even tell how he found my own address. This whole thing is causing issues between me and my hobby. He hasn't even spoken to me since that day. Oh my God. Really? Yes, and you know this... Hello? Oh, cheese arm. Listen, calm down, calm down. I, I hope there's no problem. What is it? O okay, I'm listening. Okay. It's all right, thank you. Not to worry, I'll send you the address. All right, bye. Who was that? It's Chizara. She said she had terrible dreams about me. I mean, for her to go to the extent of getting my number and placing a call to me. Judith, I'm afraid. I'm afraid something terrible might go wrong. The way I'm looking at it, a life might go down if care is not taken. But why are they suddenly calling you now? We've always been talking. I mean, she's the only one who regards me as a sister. Even when my father refused us to stay together. She sneaks out sometimes to give me food. But, oh, Judith, that is not even the issue. That's not why I'm bothered. I'm still worried. I just feel something is wrong for her to have told me this. Anyway, let me wait for her to come.
Bora! is not even ready to give up. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. It's okay. This is just too much for me alone. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? It's okay. I'm okay. It's just tired. I'm tired. I'm broken. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what else to do. I, I, I don't know. Say that. Okay, don't we look alike? No! Okay. I, I know you're very disappointed right now. But I am your dad. I cannot lie to you. I've got huge plans for you. Look, in the next few weeks, you will be traveling to America with me. Hmm? So relax. You're with your dad. You have nothing to worry about. Hmm? Alright. So let's chat, big boy. What's your name? My name is Chidi. Chidi! Chidi! That's a beautiful name. Hmm? For a handsome boy like you. Hmm? So Chidi, very soon you will be called a US boy. Hmm? 
my mommy. I want my mommy. I don't want to go with you. No, but that's, that's, not, that's not a problem. You, you, your mom can join us, okay? If that will make you happy, your mom can join us. No. We all will be the cord and tie us together. The same cord is pushing me to my sister. I'm a child, but the blood of sister will run through me. But you must have suffered a lot when she has the loyal as a father. Ozema mother committed and left. And you hated Ozema for nothing she knew about. Because I'm sure at seven years, Uzuma would not have committed anything. Mother, Uzuma is having issues in her marriage. She needs you. She needs us. Her life is in danger. As you see, your first and only grandson has been whisked away by an unknown person. What? Who's your last son? Whisked away? By who? It happened before me. Because I used the money you gave to me to travel to our house. Uzioma is has been crying day and night. Father, you're not at peace with a member of your cabinet. Not at peace with your in-laws. You should be a leader, not a destroyer. Your great grandfather sat on this too. Your father to so before you. And please, I beg of you. And please, let me just the vanity of power. Oh, your man should not die. She made a mistake, huh? <laughs>
The Ghana! Where is that idiot? They call it Ghana. Where is he? What is it? Ask him to come back here. Where is he? Why are you shouting in my father's compound? See, if you are here to see someone, you better calm down and speak to me nicely. I'm shouting. Yes. I choose to ignore your stupidity today. Ask that idiot, that infidel, to come out here. You get up! You get up, come out here! You get up! Marcy, where is the get up? Who are you? And why are you shouting in my corner? My name is Tony. I am here to see Ikena, that idiot, came into my compound, kidnapped my son. Tell him to bring him back. Tell Ikena to bring my son back, else, hey, the earth will shake. I'm just hearing this one for the first time. Maybe until I find out, please, you can now leave my compound. Oh, you want to find out? <laughs> you want to find out if my son was truly kidnapped? You want to find out? <laughs> Ah! Tell Ikenna to bring back my boy. Oh, if you give me one more reason to come back here, I swear to you, I'm going to burn down this Kalika top tent. I'm telling you. Try If you have the opportunity to come back again. What nonsense is this? Shouting in my own. Give him the air to come and come back and shout like a mad dog. Shut up now, Dad. I don't blame you. Let me tell you, in those days when my head used to be hot, I will use much check on you. him now. Where is my son? What the hell are you talking about? You took my son with you. Where is he? And your husband has upgraded from a thief to a kidnapper. He broke into my house this morning and kidnapped my son. Where is he? I broke into your... What are you... What nonsense are you vomiting? I broke into your house. Oh, don't even pretend. My son cannot go magically missing. You know his whereabouts. Where is he? Ikena. Well, hold on a Where is my son? Ikena. Ikena. What are you saying? What, what are you saying? My son is missing. Honey, wait, 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 Are you telling me that my boy is missing? If thing happens to my boy, I swear to you, I will take you out. Hey, hey, hey! Where is he? You, you know where that boy is? You know? No, 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 no. Don't shut up, my okay? What stupid game are you people playing? Where is my son? You took him. You took him. You broke in here and took my boy away from me. Where is he? You are looking at a suicide bomber. Oh, if you don't Jesus. produce my son, I will burn every living thing in this house, excluding my son. It is here. Where is my son? He doesn't have your son. Where is he? Where did you keep him? Why would you even accuse my husband of taking your son? He doesn't know where you live. My point How exactly. How could he have taken your son? How? Okay, now, please, I am begging you. Where is my child? Where did you take him to? I'm asking you, where is my son? <laughs> Seriously, I don't get it. I'm finding this very hard to believe. If they claim they don't have him, 
Then who? I'm as confused as you are, bro. There's no way they will discover this place and take this boy away. Are you suspecting anything? interest in the boy apart from the three of you. Speak the words right out of my mouth. Who else has interest in my son apart from the three of us? He can. Oh yes, he can. He knows something. He is behind the disappearance of Chidi. He's just covering up. Oh yes, he is just covering up as far as I'm concerned. We need to calm down. Huh. We need to take this easy. Uh. Ike is not that kind of person. I grew up with him. I know him that much. I mean, this same man cannot be asking for the custody of this child and claim that this child is missing. Don't you get it? He is not that kind of person. He won't do it. I have a feeling Chidi ran out of the house out of fear. I can't hold him hostage. You know him that well? Uzama, so after all the years, this boy spent abroad, did all sorts of illegal business, spent time in jail, came out, traveled back to this country. You still trust him this much? Even with the life of your son. Is that something I should know? Oh, wait. Why did it not hit me that you wittingly gave my son to Ikenna, your boyfriend? Why did it not hit me? Sorry. Tony, you would stop this right now. How? Why, why would you even think I would do such a thing? Why are you defending him? I am not defending him. Why do you trust him so much? Why would I give my child out to a man? This man has been out of your life for so many years. Now hold on a second. What is going on here? Tony, no. E enough. I'm beginning to look like a suspect all of a sudden. Am I not? That's not true. You know that. Listen, Tony, I understand the frustration stemming from the recent development, but please do not add to your wife's miseries. Please. Okay? A lot of waters have passed the ocean. A lot happened in the past due to excessive anger. But we can't remain perpetual enemies because of all that. It was because some of us could not control our actions. Yes, I married your sister. 
and things went the way it did. But then, I get all my actions. Your Majesty, my being a Bokoroko notwithstanding, I am a very peaceful person, and I'm sure you can acknowledge that. Yes, yes. It is my peaceful nature that made me to keep coming to the palace from time to time. When Uzioma grew up, she requested to know her father. At a point, I had no option but to appoint you the biological father. That was why she kept coming to the palace. But you rejected her. So it was this rejection that made her to exhibit those nasty attitudes that were repugnant to you. Hmm. The climax of it all was when you declared her wanted. She had no option but to run for her life. Then the issue of marriage came and all the other stories that followed. Hmm. This point, let me ask you a question. And that one done answer. Did you later collect Briar Price from her husband? How can I? Uh, am I the biological father? Thank you. May the gods keep you. <sighs> Chizaram. Chizaram told me a lot about that sister of hers. Hey, I've not done my work very well as a, a family man and as a Father, or oh, I king. Hey, I've heard a lot. I need to make amends with everyone so that at my right time, when it is time for me to go down six feet, I'll have to sleep with my ancestors peacefully. That is a very good decision, Your Majesty. Very good decision. Seriously. Have you see. She's around. Good things will never depart her way. You see? I mean, she was the only person who thought it wise to consistently ask of her sister. Each time she came, she would bring food items, money. I mean, she was so caring. Something that her elder sister never thought of doing. I mean, God will continue to bless that young girl. He said, I have not much to say, but please forgive my daughter, Ju, and others for talking to you the way they did. And I can say, No, Mr. Dovamma, a man of the world. Hmm? Mr. Dovamma, do God. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. Let him find color for you. What? Ada? Papa? You said uh, they, you Chukuma. called him my son? Chukuma told you this on phone? Yes, Papa. He said somebody broke into Ikena's house and forcefully took that little boy away. How oh, come? That is criminal. Who does that? Let somebody not lose his life. Oh. Huh. Yeah, Ada? Please, call Ikena for me. I want to speak with him. Don't disturb that young man. Don't. Let him fight for his blood. Because when he gets old now, it will be difficult for him. And in fact, I do not know why uh, Chiobi's son should be fighting for what does not belong to him. Eh? In fact. Oh, what, Papa? Yes. I told tradition states that if a man gets a girl pregnant without paying her bride price, mm. That child automatically belongs to the girl's parents. Isn't that so? Umba, umba, umba. Not, not in this context. Not in this. This is different. Look, let me tell you. This young man got the girl pregnant and left her with enough money, big enough to even take care of the bride price you are talking about here. Exactly. 
also gave her enough money to take care of the pregnancy and told her, I am going. I will be back soon. Only for this girl to insinuate that that young woman should be dead by now and jumped into marriage with someone else. Who does that? Sincerely, I no longer know what is right or wrong. I just pray and hope we find that boy. Because the Ikena I know is ready to go to any length. He's ready to die for that little boy, Papa. And we are saying all of these things because King Ikemba has not said anything. What will he say? What will King Ikemba say? He bluntly rejected that girl. Please, please, let's just forget about King Ikemba. Call Ikenna for me. Let me speak to him as a mother, please. Okay, Mama. Let me get my phone. Let us not ruin our lives. Let people not see us as a family that is not united. Because your mom is our blood. The same man that produced us also produced her. Maybe one day we'll all get married and I have our own kids. Our children. Because your mind should be united too. Zara, are you saying I am one of the reasons Papa sent her and her mother away? No, no, no. What I'm saying, we shall all see ourselves as one. If we come closer more, Father will have no other option than to love her too. Our unity is the first. about your husband. My husband couldn't have done anything to that boy. He loves Chidi like his. He wouldn't do anything to endanger his life. Oh, really? You think you know him that much, right? I have been married to him for five years. He's been a loving and good father to our son. Our son? What do you mean, our son? Who do you refer to when you said our son? Me? And you? Or you and him? No, who do you really think is the father of that boy? Stop it! Stop it, Akina. You think you haven't hurt me enough? Do you know what I have been going through? You think I am happy to be committed to another man? Do you know the pains? The pains I went through? Oh, please. Don't even start with that blame games. Like it was my fault, of right? Of course it was your fault! Really? It was all your damn fault! Do you know the trauma I went through when I heard about your arrest? Oh, really? Like it was my fault, right? Was that why you easily forgot about me? Few weeks after my arrest and got involved with another man? Was that how little I was worth to you? Was that how little you loved me? You couldn't even wait for a leap year before running into another man's arms. Was that how cheap you were? Shut up! Shut You think I didn't wait? You think you know everything? 
nothing about me but no. You know nothing. You don't even know half of what I went through. You know nothing. <laughs> you think I didn't fight? I mean, you hate me because you think I couldn't wait for you. I tried. I tried so hard. I tried. Tell me what happened. Everything. <laughs> when I got the news of your arrest, an alleged sentence, Days later in the hospital, I was devastated and I almost died. The doctors and nurses tried so hard. They tried so hard to save my life and that of our unborn child. <laughs> A few weeks later, I was discharged. But then we spent the whole money we had on hospital bills. It was the same time. <laughs> Judith lost her job. And then... <sighs> Tony came by. He proposed. But I refused. Judith threatened me. All my pleas fell on deaf ears. <laughs> she threw me out of her apartment. I wandered the streets of the city. I went through horrible experiences. I even escaped rape attempt two times. <laughs> At that point, I felt it was better for me to accept Tony's proposal. Then lose my life. Or oh, that of our child. I mean your child. Now I tried. I waited. I have never ever loved any man the same way I loved you. You were my life. You were everything to me. Please. I beg you. Bring back my son. He is the reason I have been able to live the whole time you were not here. He is my life. Please, I beg you, I just, I just want my son. I don't have him. I don't have him. He's <coughs> one I just want to play sword. I just want my sword. I just want my
Vamos lá. Coisa mais gostosa é isso. You, what are you doing here? Did I not warn you never to step your feet in my compound? Why are you here? Did I not warn you to provide my son? Where is my son? Mokem, get out of my house right now. I will not leave here without my son. If you do not live here right now, I swear to you, I am going to eat you up and feed your skin to vultures. Get out of here right now. No, where is my son? Where is my son? In Ajuma, Jojo. No, 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 no. If you ask me a question. <laughs> what? My son, stop. No, 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 He's my son! Because of that little boy? Tony, I beg you. Ah, I'm disappointed, Uzioma. You shouldn't have done this to me. Mm -mm. No, you shouldn't have. Tony, it's it, Tony. Uh, uh. Tony, please. I just need you to listen to me. You're hurting me with your words. I haven't done anything wrong. It was just a momentary emotional breakdown. Listen, I have no connection with him. We have no connection, I swear to you. Nothing whatsoever, please. Please, just, just, just turn it. I go now. I was just trying to get this into the screen. That's what you do, it's fine. Tony, Tony, please just listen to me, I beg you, wait. Jumping, he caught Ozema in your arms. Yeah, he did. But I didn't mean for that to happen. You see, I've been so angry with Uzioma, but I didn't know she still has this effect on me. For a moment, I forgot about my missing son and was just thinking about her. Well, nobody will blame you, except someone who does not know your story. But meanwhile, have you heard anything about your son? <sighs> 
The king summoned my father and Ozioma's uncle. And the next will be you, Antonio. We have had the stories, and we all know the truth. Ozioma is my daughter. The problem I have with her is that she's a stubborn girl. And I'm sure it was because of the way people told her on how I sent her mother away from the palace, so she hated me the more. But I wouldn't want anyone to toy with her emotions. None of the men in question paid a bright price. Therefore, as far as I'm concerned, Uzioma is not yet married. The, ch the child in question is my child. Your Majesty, when a man spends his money on his woman and left, with the intention of coming back again, bearing his mind that his woman is pregnant for him, I don't see anything wrong in that. My son did not say the father of the child, but that he met his mother at the point of pregnancy and spent money. Though I told him to let off and mind his own business. I have spoken my own. You people should go and look for my grandchild and return him to me. As far as I'm concerned, Uzioma is not married. Therefore, the boy is my child. <laughs> Fine. Hold on, I'll be there very soon. They've not found the child. They haven't. Ikena even came over to the house. For what? He said he wants the boy. And he's not even planning to give up anytime soon. 
He's suspecting my husband and I knows the whereabouts of his son. <laughs> Is he mad or something? No. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm losing it. I don't know. son over to that bastard his child his child Tony we need to face reality Ikena is the biological father of Chidi however the child is safe with him you need to calm down did you say safe safe with that criminal safe my boy is safe. do you know what Ikena plans to do with that boy why do you trust him so what is it that you don't even trust me what is going on? Tony, why would you say that? Of course you know I trust you. But we need to snap back to reality. Ikena is... is Chidi's biological father. The elders, including your own father, has asked us to give the child back to him. My father wants him. It's better we leave him with, with Ikena so my father can take him too. To hell with your father. To hell with your father, to hell with the elders. To hell with whatever the elders and council come up with and pass. To hell with all of them. That boy is my boy. I want him back. I want him back. I want him here with me. You be able. You know, we can have our kids. The doctors have confirmed that we are fine. We're good. Why can't we have our own children? Oh shit. I've grown to love Chidi. I've found the better not one with that boy. You cannot take him away from me. I love him. With all of my heart. Bring him back to me. That's all I ask. Bring him back home. If I cannot love Chidi, no other person can. No one else. I don't care how anybody sees this. No one else can love that boy. If I cannot keep him, tell her. The report on this issue. We held a meeting with your father today, and he promised us that he was going to talk to you. Now we are asking you: to, Did you return the boy to Ikena, as your father told us? Mazi, he is not the boy. He is my son. My boy. I've been a father to that boy from the day he came into this world. I was in the labor room and saw him come to this world. I paid his hospital bills, bought him food, bought diapers, and sometimes changed the diapers when he defecated on himself. Carried him here. At nights when he cried, couldn't find sleep. 
nursed him with my resources. Gave him a good life. Would interest you all to know that the first day Chidi went to school, I was there for him as his father. I do all of that. And you think that I'll give him up? Tony! Father, please, don't Tony me. What you are asking is evil. Evil because this is a setup to take my boy away from me. After all the work that I have done, sleepless nights, resources to give him a good life that he's enjoying right now. And you want to take him from me? I said no. No. Hmm. Where is the boy? You mean my son? I said, where is the boy? Of course he's with me, but he's with the father. Tony, you will receive the bounty for the work from his parents. You know me, I will compensate him. All these diapers he said he bought, I will give him back the money. <laughs> but in this whole thing, I will not give it to him. Or sir, I will lose it. These two animals, like, I'm not. If you don't eat, and they struggle with it, the truth is that one of them has the right to the palm tree that produces the palm nut. As if I know that this whole thing will boil down to this situation. I bluntly refuse to accept my marriage with you. Yes. And by tradition, the child remains my child. This is your. You had me your man. Ha, you will be a problem. Your Majesty, I do not need your money. Neither do I want any kind of compensation from you. Really, money is not everything. But speaking about money, really. I don't care how any one of you seated here, how much you claim to have in your bank accounts. All of you put together cannot be richer than me. I'm not here for money, Igwe. I'm here for my boy. The first time I came here, you blatantly refused to talk to me. Your daughter insulted me and walked me out of your palace. And you have once again invited me here to ridicule me by claiming that a child that I fathered from when he came into this world, a child that you rejected when he was in his mother's womb, a child that I have slept sleepless nights with, nurturing and taking care of, belongs to you. Igwe, Chidi is my son. If I cannot have him, no one else can have him. Not even this ex-convict seated here. Which your son, Mungo? Stop talking nonsense. Which your son? Ikena uh, Chidi. Ichobi, your son is beginning to sound funny. Yes, forgive me when I feel that he's sounding funny. Because I, I cannot comprehend why a young, vibrant man like him, with a woman, I mean a wife, as beautiful and young as Ozioma, we prefer to die fighting for another man's child when he can jolly well make babies for himself. I, I can't understand. That's the question I'm even asking myself. I, I, just, I, I can't just understand. When you guys are so ready. Why can't you go for your own son and leave my son alone? That's the question. And leave my son. Talk to this small girl to leave my son alone. I know why I'm keeping quiet. Leave my son alone for crying out loud. Am, am, am I going to speak English? You, you, you pamper him, you not him, you, 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 leave my son alone. As far as I am concerned, you all are making noise. Eh? The boy is mine. And that is final. Can you imagine? This boy is very 
very rude. Will you shut up and allow the king and the elders to speak? The son is not yours, it's my son. Why are you dragging my son with me? What did you say then? Did you put cotton wool in your hand? I said I, I, shut I, I, up I, I, and allow the king to speak. No, 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 Where are you? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay. Steph! Steph! Follow me. thinking. You are still crying. You want to kill yourself? Our life is worth nothing. If taking my life is better than that should be the best thing I would do for myself. Since childhood, life has been using me as a pendulum. Swinging me left and right. If I had a mother, he wouldn't treat me so bad. Father has been calling me. He refused to pick his calls. Why should I? Why should I take his calls? Because you said something to him. Or because he knows I am having issues. A man who deliberately rejected my suitor for no reason. Now everybody looks at me like someone who opens her legs. I to understand. But please, take his cause. There is nothing like having peace with your heart. I beg of you, please. <laughs> Never denied the fact that they are my daughter. You are my blood, my first seed in this world. It is just that I had too much pains towards your mother. But that is by the way. I am no longer living in the past. Your mother had even appeared in my dreams several days. On your behalf, my daughter, you're my first seed. Please, no doubt about it. Just forgive your father. No matter what has happened, I will make sure I right all the wrongs from now. Please, my princess. Please.
Vai lhe dar. Tisa. Please, you have to forgive me too. I've been a bad sister who doesn't value God. I thank God for Zaram, who always pleaded with Father on your behalf. I am really sorry, Princess Uzioma. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, you're my sister. Let's live as one family, united. Please, I am so sorry. Yes. Forgive us. Please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ikena is the only man I have ever known. He is the only seed of his late spirit. He was actually the one taking care of me before he traveled overseas. His arrest, his death and everything was was actually the confusion that made me marry Tony. Hmm. So, he gave you that bunch of money to take care of yourself and the baby before he left. Then came in the news of his arrest. Yes, father, he did. He's actually the child's father. Tony was there all through the pregnancy and that made him grow fond of the boy. Well, Ikena is the real father of your son. That's who we know. On the other hand, Tony didn't actually pay your bride price. So what do we do? Tell whoever that is with my grandchild to bring him. I want to eat with him. And I will not spare anybody whosoever it is that juice with the royal blood. I love as the king intervened on her behalf. There is nothing like a blood relationship. True. See as the small girl, like Chizara, is going around the village, looking for that her sister. How many people can do that? She tried. That's why everybody loves her. So, life is not about who you are. Life is not about being pretty or being royalty. But how to use that position to impart on lives. Yes, so. I am happy Ozema is back home. Mm -hmm. But the big question remains. Who will she finally go with amongst the two men? Are you asking me? Meaning? Meaning that you know the right person to ask that, not me. <laughs> to be honest with you, that young boy is going to scare me. That's exactly what I said. He sounds like someone who has no hope of making babies. How can he be so insistent on claiming someone else's child when he stands a chance of making his own baby? He's just being stupid, senseless, and insensitive. But that's not a problem. Can you? If I am to suggest, I will suggest you leave him with us here. Because he is taking good care of him. That is not even possible. I'm taking him back to abroad with me. But first, I need to take him to see the king as he ordered. You are not doing this abroad thing today or tomorrow. You can take him to the king, fine. Let him leave you with us when you are ready for this trip. Then you can take him if you really want to take him. Because we don't know the plan this young man have this time. I don't know what he's planning. That is the main reason I have to take him along with me. I cannot leave him here. It's not possible. Um, my brother, I think Mama is right. <coughs> Let the boy stay in the village or even at the palace so you can have time and do your business. Exactly. But I can now. You see, all I have been telling you about that was your market. But you refused to listen to me because you thought I was too young to give you advice. Now, see where it has landed you. She broke your heart. Sincerely, I wonder why all those girls who are lucky to have a man that truly loves them end up breaking the man's heart. 
<laughs> but not to worry, Brother Ekena. As for your son, I promise to take care of him. I will protect him with my life. He is safe with us in the village. Forget about that Uzi, my dear. Mm. Oh? Well, as you can see, I'm already enjoying his company. He is my grandchild, and I wouldn't like anything bad to happen to him. Talking about taking him, it will be after your most settled with the mother and the other young man. Hmm? Uh, your Majesty, um, I'm glad that we are on the same page. You love him just like I love him, the, the father, because he's the only he's the only thing I have in this life right now, and I wouldn't want to play with his safety. He's everything I have in this life. So I'm glad that um, he will be here, and I believe he will be safe with you. Okay, I don't trade him for anything. The same way I, I love him, the same way I loved the mother until she, you know. Uh, my grandchild is in safe hands. He is my first grandchild, grandson for that matter. Talking about his mother, I was one of the reasons she left this village. But I think. You two are matured enough to settle this issue and make a play. Hmm? You can resolve it peacefully. Listen, you must not even marry. You might decide to even put behind you what has happened in the past and face the future. Hmm? All I want is peace. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Madam. My princess. I'll be with him in my room. Good. But before then, tell the maidens to prepare a very nice dish for my grandson. Mm? <laughs> also, get the gas for me. So I send them to go and buy goodies for him. Yay, mm? thank you. There is nothing you can do to have him. He is not your biological child. And his father did not abandon him at birth. It was only an unfortunate accident that he couldn't help. So forget about him.
Tony Obi, great one. The great one has found on the trivial issues you have occupied yourself with of late. I have been mandated to instruct you to stay away from the case and hand over the kid to his biological father. I'm sorry, Brito, but at least something that I can do. I love that boy. I have become so attached to that boy. I love him. Like truly he's mine. Great one. You know very well why I'm holding on to that boy. That's reason. Is it consequential, Tony Obi? It was a dangerous and useless move, which you shouldn't have done. May I remind you, Tony Obi? You made an everlasting on the line. The world everlasting covenant with the master. And that must be honored with tact and joy. May I remind you, Tony Obi, do not be the architect of your own destruction. The Great One has spoken, Tony. The Great One has spoken. Spiritual say that. Yeah, I'm not listening to that nonsense. I would not do it. What? What's up with you? How can you go against great one good instruction? You, Benson, you should know better. You of all people should know better. You know that I can never have a child of my own. I'm also forbidden to adopt. You know that the reason that I saw Ozraba and clinged onto her was because she was pregnant. And that was my one chance of having a child that I can call my own. So after all these years, that boy born into this house, sleepless nights, nurturing and bringing him up, all my resources, everything that I put in, Benson, you will not expect me to let go like that. Do you know that I love that boy? That boy, that boy calls me daddy. I'm not let go. You know, I find it funny as much as I find it strange that since our boy was abducted, by your ex. You've been relaxed. You've done nothing about it. And I am beginning to think that it's a conspiracy between the both of you to take Chidi away from me. Tony, why would you even say a thing like that? You know, that is not even possible. That is my son we are talking about How here. How is it not possible? That retard came here, took our son. You could not even put up a fight. You're relaxed. You're okay with the boy being with him. You want me to put up a fight? You and I know that there is nothing, absolutely nothing we can do about this. I cannot see the biological father of that boy. We have no grounds or whatever to, to win this fight. So why do we even need to start? So suddenly I'm a third wheel. That's what it is. You know, I'm disappointed. I opened my heart to you. I opened my life, my house, my resources to you. 
I had your back when everybody turned their back on you. I gave you all of me when that boy abandoned you and ran off with Chidi in your womb. Were it not for me, Chidi wouldn't have survived, even you. And after all of that, this is what you tell me. You call me a fed wheel, indirectly. After everything that I have done for you, Uzoma, this is what I get? Huh. Let me tell you, I don't care how this is seen or understood by anyone else, but you see that boy, Chidi, belongs to me. I will not allow that monkey to take my son away from me. It will not happen. Hey, Flash. I'm good. Um, listen, I... I need you guys. Yes, we meet at the usual spot. he holds that that leaves him so inflamed whenever losing Chidi is mentioned. This whole thing is getting me confused and uncomfortable. I'm beginning to get scared of him myself. The doctor has confirmed us healthy enough to produce our own kids, but no, he doesn't want to focus on that. He doesn't even want to talk about it. I don't know why he wants to die hanging on to that boy, Chidi. I understand the fact that he is emotionally attached to this child, but come on. He doesn't love Chidi more than I do. I am his mother. I can't even bear to lose my own son, but what would I do? I don't, I don't know what is What's up? Boss, mm -hmm. the small boy is not with him. We have closely monitored the palace for days now. We have every reason to believe that he was have sent him out of the country. Because we monitor every in the palace. Assumptions, I don't like that. Assumptions, I want you to talk to me with facts. Alright? This is what we're going to do. Ah! Oh. You'll have to extend the search. You hear me? Extend your search to the palace. My gut feeling tells me that that boy be kept in the palace because they will think that would be a safe place for him. Boss, I don't think the palace would be an easy access. But you don't rule out possibilities, all right? Search the palace. <laughs> Feels the boy will be saved. 
hold you to it for the perfect time. Move in and grab that boy for me. I want him with me for the end of time. Telling me. Oh, yeah, I'll call you when I get to my destination. I'll oh, call no, you. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. We need to talk before you leave. I know, we'll talk. I will call you, then we'll talk. Okay? What do you mean you will call me? You're not even saying anything to me. Babe, I'll call you, alright? Tony! Okay, at least put down the glass so we can talk. You're telling me you will call me. Put down the glass. Tony! He's been sending his men around my uncle's house in the village and around the palace to kidnap my son. Tell him that my men are trailing him too. Gwakriao, tell him. Kona to basketball, na mua, na boko football. Oka winga kana bao. If anything happens to my son, where is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, he, he traveled today. I, I don't even know. He didn't tell me where he was going. What, 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 what do you mean he traveled today without telling you? He said I didn't put up a fight when you came here to take GD. I don't know where he is. He's very mad. His generations from generations are very mad. Tell him what I said. If anything happens to my son, if anything happens to my son, Mbia here, Mbia here. Okay. okay. No, let me look for my son. Let me just look for my son. Not lay our hands on that boy because the palace security was so tight. We must answer off on this deal, boss. The other man who claimed to be the father of that boy is telling us to. I'm done with this business. This is not the kind of deal we do. That is bullshit. That right there is bullshit. You hear me? I paid both of you to execute. Keep an eye on my boy. Get him back for me. Are you out of your mind? Are you stupid? You call me out here to for forbid this bullshit! Boss, we are not stupid. Yes. What do you want us to do? Do we kill ourselves for you? We have tried our best! Uh, listen, you are not going to talk to me in that manner. You're not doing this for free. I paid both of you. Alright? Especially you, I paid you. Kill I Get Ike not killed! That motherfucker is still prancing around town, disturbing my peace, holding my son! You're not doing anything about it! You Stop call me out here! Stop him! Are you, are you? Yes! You're talking to me like, stop it! Will you try? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me! We broke out of the house. I dumped the boy. What do you want again? See, as I tell you so, eh? we'll not do business together. I don't know you. You know me? After all, we'll collect our gun. 
Good. They are the rats. We are done doing business with you. I don't know you. You've never seen me before. Come on, let's go. Tony, you are so selfish and so self-centered and stubborn. We, the members of the Lord's Temple Society, did not invite you to our chambers. Tony, you came with these, your two legs, to us and pleaded. You want to be rich by all means and at all cost. Even if it means sacrificing your manhood and not having a child for life. Tony, that was okay by you. Even when you kept a child in your house. But we live away as if you don't know. I personally came to you, Tony, and I want you to stay away from the child. But what did I get? Tony, you disobeyed. You didn't listen to me. Tony. You have disobeyed the rules of engagement of the fraternity. It's one of your reward. It's death. And it shall come to you. Your death will shall be deposited. Can you sit down? Judith, sit first. Judith, what is it? Judith, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Tony is an occultic man. That is the reason we've not been able to have our own children. His grandmaster appeared to him before my very own eyes in the compound. As I'm talking to you, 
Tony's lying dead in the compound. What? Ujama. Ujama. Judith. Judith. As I said, I must. Hey! I can't be quiet, man. What kind of useless life is this? The very first day your uncle came in with this young man, my spirit rejected him. And when I took a closer look at him, he was looking so fetish that my mind did not accept him. So that young man used his manhood for riches. Children of this generation and their quest for riches. That is why he desperately needs a child. Another man's blood. People can be so funny. I mistakenly opened a room in that house and I saw him holding a wooden casket. My head blasted that day. I knew something was wrong with him. So he's gone just like that. Vanity all is vanity. Just look at the way he ended his life. He did not get anything. He just lost his life like that. Vanity. Upon vanity. All oh, vanity. Because of riches of this world, a man sacrificed his manhood and later died miserably. What? Please, um, where is GD? He came now and his cousin Ada was here yesterday and father allowed them to take Judy because he was crying he missed his son. He's already bonding with him. You see his, uh, his biological father. And uh, I think he's safe in their hands. Why worry? Uh, Alright, I... I think I'll go there and see him. I need to see my son. You are free to do that. Sure. Let's go. Alright, father, I'll see you. My princess, someone is looking for you, and she said her name is Judith. Oh. Alright, tell her I'll join her outside. Okay, my princess. My princess. My princess. Alright, okay, sir. I know that all these things that Mazi will be sown at the day will not help you. Even the way he made his money is also a mystery to most of us. Now look at the way he ended his life. We should learn to avoid joining evil secret societies and be contented with what we have. And even the young girls of nowadays they are never patient enough to wait for God to direct their affairs. They have to be very careful. Poor Ozioma. I think she was deceived into believing that Ola Ikema was dead. Though I did not like what her father, the king, did to them when they were dating those days. But that is not a problem. The most important thing is that we have Chid here with us. And Brother Ikema here. Now has another book. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Greetings. Please, I came to ask for a king last week. In the place, I am very, very sorry. I trust this book. Please. I was actually the person that pushed her into marrying Tony. She never wanted to. You know, the news of your death sentence came as a rude shock to us. In the heat of the event, we didn't know what to do because there was no means of survival, coupled with a heavy pregnancy. I asked her to marry Tony. She refused. I chased her out of my house. After a few days, she wandered back. That was when she accepted the proposal. Please, I beg you, forgive us. Please. Kenna. 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 Kenna.
Kina, I am deeply sorry. I should have stood my ground and and resisted like I did. I had no choice. I had a child in my womb with nothing to eat, nowhere to go to. And that was when Tony came by and proposed. I had to accept him. I, I, I didn't even know he was a cultist. But heaven bear me witness. I don't even love this man. I just had to give in because of my condition. Please. I beg you with everything you hold dear. If not for anything, for the sake of our son and for everything we shared, I beg you. Forgive me. Please. I also want to beg you to please take care of our child. I'm deeply sorry. Was your ma... Was your ma, you didn't do well at all. You didn't do well. You couldn't even wait for me. Just five months eh? after all the promises we made to each other. You couldn't even wait before jumping into another man's hand. Eh? It's painful. I won't lie to you. It's painful that you married another man. But it's more painful to have allowed another man lay claim to my blood, my son. I mean, how could you? Eh? How could you do such a thing? Eh? But it's okay. I'm forgiving you. I mean, if God Almighty can show me mercy, I could have been a dead man. But I'm alive today because he wants me to prove a point. I'm forgiving you. Okay. And you, Judith, you didn't do well. How can you just open your mouth like tap water and be talking anyhow? Saying things you're not sure of. Wishing another man dead. How, how could you? Eh? Next time you have to be very sure now before you start talking. You have to be very sure. Right? You can call on me anytime you need anything or anytime you have problems. After all, you're, you're, you're my son's mother. So why, why wouldn't I be there for you? But if it's having anything, like I said, to do with you, that it's, it will not be possible again. So you people can go. Eh? It's okay. I understand. Mommy, what is it? Daddy, please forgive my mommy. Please, please forgive my mommy. She took care of me. If I am your blood, she's your blood too. She did a mistake, and we all do mistakes. Daddy, please, don't give me more peace. Daddy, daddy, please, daddy, please, daddy, daddy. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh, 